Investors continue to react to market uncertainty post-Brexit. We've got 10-year yields at record lows, while gold and silver continue to trade higher. Joining us now to make sense of it all is Frank Holmes, CEO of U.S. Global Investors. Frank, uh, thanks for being with us today. It's great to be with you. And you're absolutely right. Rates are all-time lows in Canada. The, one, the PMI numbers came out, purchasing manufacturers index, yesterday. And the one month is below the three months. And immediately the Canadian dollar yield start to come off. And the 50-year government right. bond in, in Canada is only 1.6%. 50 years. And in Switzerland, it's gone negative. Well, we actually have a chart showing this, how gold uh, is uh, definitely outpacing the yields right now. Um, is this what's really driving gold? Is that what's behind the rally here, Frank? Absolutely. The slowdown in global trade is a big, big issue. And uh, hopefully the Brexit will, you're seeing the fast, uh, I call fast tracking the EU to do a trade agreement with Canada now. So I think that there might be some positive collateral out of this whole Brexit. And both gold and silver are up, uh, hitting multi-year highs. Silver really stealing the show here, trading near two-year highs. The gold to silver ratio is even above average at around 68. Do you think silver has further to go here? Absolutely. You know, the, the old rule was a 1% move in bullion was a 3% move in silver. And it looks like we've had that catch up now with silver giving that greater volatility on the upside and the downside. But in the backdrop of that, what's important for silver is solar demand, uh, healthcare demand. So silver is getting a lot of industrial pickup. Well, when you say uh, silver demand, is that coming from China? Is, is China really behind the run up here, as some are suggesting? No, I, I really don't think so. I think unless it's just for the solar energy, but I think it's more of this uh, uh, capacity being used for the industrial uses is uh, absorbing any supply. So now we have investors coming in to buy silver and is having more rapid escalated move. All right. Well, we have a lot of data coming out this week, Frank, including the much anticipated jobs report. So what's your touchdown pass going to be this week? What are you eyeing that could really move gold and silver here? Well, I think the uh, uh, jobs is going to be a critical factor, uh, and I think we're going to just continue to see this slowdown that's necessary for rates to continue this drop, and uh, that's going to propel gold to higher price levels. Frank, thanks so much for joining us from Toronto today. Thank you. Happy investing. And thanks for watching this edition of Kitco's Gold Report. We'll see you tomorrow.